Hello dear students, today we are continuing our video lessons and today's our topic is phrasal verbs. So phrasal verbs, what does phrasal verb mean? Phrasal verb means uh, verb plus particle. The particle looks like a preposition but it doesn't function as a preposition. Like he woke up at half past six. Strangers woke him up. Particles. Particles are part of the verb phrase and they often change the meaning of the verb. For example, so let's compare preposition and particle. So preposition, he looked up. You see, so when he you look somewhere up, so it's different, it's preposition. He looked up at the skyscraper and here's particle. She looked up a word in her dictionary. So look up gives a uh, meaning of another verb here. So you were looking through, like look up. So you were seeking for a word in a dictionary. Using phrasal verbs. Many phrasal verbs and one word verbs have similar meanings. So they are synonyms, we can say. Wake up, which means awaken. Go on, which means continue. Take off, which means remove. So phrasal verbs are less formal and more common in everyday speech. Phrasal verbs are divided into transitive and intransitive phrasal verbs, which, uh, which is transitive phrasal verbs have objects. Most transitive verbs uh, are separable. Like, uh, for example, he called up his boss to tell him he had overslept. Or in this case, he called his boss up to tell him he had overslept. Both are possible. Uh, the object can come after the phrasal verb or between the verb and the particle. At the last minute, the bride called off the wedding. Or at the last minute, the bride called the wedding off. So both are possible. Uh, when the object is a pronoun, so it must come between the verb and the particle. So you should be careful with that. A friend called up her at work, so it's impossible, we cannot use this way. A friend called her up at work. So with the pronouns, uh, I ask you to be a bit careful, please. Intransitive phrasal verbs. Intransitive phrasal verbs do not have an object, like he grew up in Egypt. She will hang up before she gets into the car. As you see here, we cannot use object after the phrase, uh, phrasal verbs here. Intransitive phrasal verbs. Uh, first, I worked. You know, no, no. Intransitive phrasal verbs. First, I worked out for an hour. Then I dressed up and dropped in at the party. No one found out that I didn't have an invitation. Here you can see there is no object after all phrasal verbs. So one more note for you, dear students. Please be careful while differentiating makeup transitive and makeup intransitive. When we say he made up a story about Jill and Joel, so where we have an object, we mean here to invent a story. But when we say they made up, so this is intransitive version of makeup. Here we can uh, say they were friends again. So it means they quarreled and then became friends again. In this version, makeup is intransitive. Please see the difference. It was the over of our today's short video lesson. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.